Trauma is an unfortunate reality for many people. What is trauma? Trauma is a psychological and emotional response to an event or situation that exceeds one's ability to cope with it. Traumatic experiences can range from physical abuse to sexual assault to natural disasters, car accidents, combat exposure, and many other types of traumatic events. Trauma can leave lasting effects on individuals and can manifest in various ways. Some of these effects can be physical or mental. Some physical signs include constant pain, headaches, and tiredness. Depression, anxiety, dissociation, and flashbacks can all be psychological signs. Trauma can also cause post-traumatic stress disorder PTSD, a mental health condition that causes people to relive stressful events, have nightmares, and feel anxious or depressed. Trauma is quite prevalent, and it is estimated that about 70% of people in the United States have been through some kind of trauma at some point in their lives. This includes things like physical or sexual abuse as a child as well as things like domestic violence or a car accident as an adult. Anyone can be affected by trauma, no matter their age, gender, or background. Youth trauma is another big problem that affects a lot of young people. Physical signs like headaches, stomach aches, and tiredness may show up right away. Teenagers can also have emotional problems like worry, fear, and sadness. Other long-term effects may include depression, anxiety, post-traumatic stress disorder, and drug abuse. Many people don't understand how common childhood trauma is. It is thought that about 60% of children in the United States have been through some kind of trauma in their lives. This includes things like physical or sexual abuse, being ignored, being exposed to violence, or experiencing natural disasters as a kid. It is then important to recognize the impact of trauma and provide support and resources for people who have experienced it. Fortunately, there is hope for those who have experienced trauma. And that is trauma-informed care. So, what exactly is trauma-informed care, or TIC? It is an approach that involves understanding the prevalence and impact of trauma and providing care that is sensitive to the needs of individuals who have experienced trauma. Trauma-informed care involves creating a safe and supportive environment where individuals feel comfortable expressing their needs and concerns. It is a way to offer help that recognizes the effects of trauma and helps people heal and get better. A 2021 systematic review found that trauma-informed interventions help reduce PTSD symptoms in 11 of 23 studies with 15 of those studies showing improvements in PTSD symptoms, depression, and anxiety. TIC is also a good way to help people, especially in places of work where people may have been through trauma. Trauma-informed workplaces promote safety, trust, and collaboration, which can help employees feel supported and valued. This can result in increased productivity and job satisfaction. Safety is one of the most important parts of trauma-informed care. People who have been through trauma may feel unsafe in certain places or scenarios. TIC is also based on making people feel safe and supported in a safe setting. This could mean putting in place safety measures like setting clear boundaries, making sure there is enough light, and making sure workers feel comfortable talking about safety issues. Collaboration is another important part of trauma-informed care. Trauma-informed care means working with a person to understand their needs and make a care plan that takes into account their unique concerns. This could mean letting the person help make decisions and working with them to set goals and come up with plans for how to reach them. Trauma-informed care also includes being sensitive to the needs of people who have been through trauma. This may mean giving them emotional support, knowing their triggers and reactions, and being aware of how certain situations or environments may affect them. Overall, TIC is a strong intervention that can help people who have been through trauma heal and get better. It works especially well in places of work where people may have been through trauma. Trauma-informed care can help create a supportive and inclusive workplace that encourages productivity, job satisfaction, and well-being by putting an emphasis on safety, collaboration, and sensitivity. The Workplace Mental Health Institute, or WMHI, has put on a one-day workshop about TIC and how to care for people who have been through trauma. This training shows you how to recognize people who have been through trauma, how to help them, and how to work well with them. Trauma happens to a lot of people in one way or another, and this can change how they act at work and in life. People who have been through trauma often risk having triggers from their trauma or being re-traumatized when they seek services. To help people who may have been through trauma cope better, workplaces and service providers need to know what trauma-informed care is. 
This way, they can speak well and avoid doing more harm. In conclusion, trauma is a widespread issue that affects a lot of people. It can have long-term effects on a person's physical and mental health, so it's important to give care that takes their needs into account. Trauma-informed care is a way of helping people heal and get better. It can help create a helpful and inclusive workplace that helps people be more productive, happy at work, and healthy. It does this by emphasizing safety, collaboration, and sensitivity. Trauma-informed care is the best approach to implement, whether you are a boss or a worker. Hi, I'm Amy Golding, Director of Psychology for the Workplace Mental Health Institute. We hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. We have more and more videos being released each week, so when you subscribe, you'll get a notification letting you know when a new one's just been published. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't miss out on this vital information for yourself, your colleagues and your loved ones.